Wonderful people, it's happening. Yes, so our very own brother, Peter Obi, has visited UNN, makes fresh demands from Nigeria towards the government, says enough is enough. You know, we need to take our stand and we need to make it known and strong. So this is what is happening and every single one of us can see. Okay, the, uh, he visited a uh, university, uh, you know, uh, and, you know, the students, the young people uh, at, you know, Nigerian University in Suka are the most, you know, are one of the people that you can inspire because they will, they will carry that dream, that vision, and they will travel with it. They will travel with it, you know. So he visited UNN and he charged the students of how to demand their right from the government please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe peter will be visits unn makes fresh demands from nigerians towards the government the presidential candidate of the labor party mr peter will be on wednesday visited the university of nigeria Onsuka unn makes where he urged nigerians to demand leadership at all level from the government this nation belongs to you you cannot continue to allow people who do not want this nation to move forward to be the ones in charge they don't have your dream they don't have your mind they don't see what you see they cannot be bothered you can't allow them to continue politics nigeria reports that the former governor of Anambra State in a statement on social media said he charged the, you, the leadership le lecturers organized by the strategic contact ethnic and publication to, of the UNN to do what is right, to stand for what is right. In his remark, Obi reiterated the need for Nigerians to ensure they demand good leadership from politicians at all levels of government to live out the true quality of integrity and uprightness. He said meaningful progress and development cannot be achieved when leaders have questionable, unverified past and characters. Obi emphasized that for a nation to grow and develop, it must be founded on ethnic truth and integrity. He called for a new political culture in which parties, parties are run by people of integrity. He also expressed concern about the deep-rooted corruption and electoral manipulation that continues to plague Nigeria. He urged Nigerians to demand ethnic and correct leadership at all levels and don't give don't relent. Don't give up. You must continue. I'm happy to visit the University of Nigeria on Suka on Wednesday, where I charge the young people, the leadership, lecturers, organizers of the strategic contact ethnic publication at the university to rise for what is good. I reiterated the need for us to demand good leadership from politicians at all levels. Of government to live up to true quality of integrity uprightness we cannot expect meaningful progress and development when we when we have leaders of questionable past and qualities which are not tenable for moving forward for a nation to grow and develop it must be founded on truth integrity good leadership our leadership reiterated the process for us to build, we must all rise up together. So this is our brother. Yeah, you know, he visited the Nigerian University in Suka, where he had to speak to the young people, charge them and encourage them that the leadership of this nation must be demanded for. In, we must demand integrity. We must demand for our rights and we must let them know that we know what we want. Otherwise, they will keep telling you you are the leaders of tomorrow until your gray hair is whiter than snow. We must demand integrity and honor. We cannot sit back and allow the same people 
who have been destroying the very essence of this nation and what makes it a country to continue to thrive, to continue to be the ones who gives us leadership. We know that there is a lot already involved. And so every single person must rise up to the occasion and ensure that we do not allow the same thing to happen again and again. So these are the people that we all must look at and, you know, and we must demand it. They will not want to give it to you. They will not want to give it to you. We must demand it at all level. We must be able to ensure that we know, you know, what we are, what we, what we are looking for. And uh, we must be able to tell them, this is not right. This is not acceptable. This is not what we stand for. So by the time we, are, we know what we want, then we can demand it. If you don't know what you want, then you can, you can settle for anything if you don't know what you want. But when you know what you want, you will rise up and you will ensure, okay, that these things are done. You will ensure that the right things are done. So these are some of the issues that are going on. And everybody is beginning to ask the same question again and again. That things must be settled once and for all. And then we must ensure that we rise up and we do all that is needed and necessary. Nigerians, the days are upon us. Nobody will sit back there and we expect that things will just fall in place if we do not do what is necessary. They will not give it to you. They won't. They want to remain in power. They want to be the ones that call the shots, even when they know fully well that they have nothing to offer. They still want to be there. So these are some of the things that are happening. And then we, you know, for us to have a good government, we just have to rise up to the occasion and ensure that we get what we want. You know, nobody will give it to you. You have to want it. You have to want it. You know, when they say life is not fair, it's not fair to those who do not uh, demand their, their part. If you demand your part, you will get it. It's as clear as that. So it is what it is. It is what it is. Please don't forget, every single one of us are important. We have a voice and we must continue to ensure that the truth is being manifested. If we sit back and we do nothing, nothing will happen. But if we rise up to the occasion and we say enough is enough, then enough will really be enough. Okay? Then enough will really be enough. So these are some of the things that are going on. And every one of us needs to arise and ensure that we get all that is needed. Yes? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember that you have a voice. Bye for now.